Hello, this is Ron Clark, bringing you Lesson 5 in the Self-Healing Archaeus. Like the previous lessons, this one is suitable only for those who have completed Step 2 of Initiation into Hermetics. Our subject in this lesson is the passive separation of the solitary mental body. In Lesson 4, we separated our astral mental body from our physical shell, and now with this lesson we will enact a further separation as we vacate our astral shell. This means a constriction of our focus to just the air and fire regions of our mental body. I call this the solitary mental body because in this state the mental body is bereft of its astral and physical clothing. This is the most versatile and flexible of our three temporal bodies. The solitary mental body, composed of just the air and fire regions, is twofold in nature and equates to the individual self, or in Kabbalistic terms, the Tiferet self. This particular level of self is capable of direct perception of the lower personal self and direct perception of the higher self. As you know, the air region of the mental body represents the direct perception of thoughts and ideas. This is the downward focused aspect of the individual self, that part of the individual self which is concerned with and involved in the personal and physical aspects of existence. The fire region, on the other hand, represents the direct perception of essential meaning, which occurs without the solid form of thoughts and ideas. This region of the solitary mental body is the upward-focused aspect of the individual self, that part of the individual self which is continuously receiving an influx from the greater self. In this lesson we will be using the same techniques presented in Lesson 4. First, we will constrict our mental body to just its water, air, and fire regions, and thereby separate our astral mental body from its physical shell. As before, this reveals a silver cord corresponding to what remains of the earth region of the mental body. Then we will constrict our mental body still further to just its air and fire regions, and separate our solitary mental body from its astral shell. This reveals a second cord of a lavender color rooted in the astral shell and corresponding to what remains of the water region of the mental body. The reason we are doing this specific form of separation is because in this way we completely separate and rest our three bodies. As each of our bodies rest, they naturally revert to a more pristine and healthful state. The act of letting them rest separately significantly decreases the input from one level to the next, thus increasing the depth of their rest. Without the active impress of the astral energy, the physical body rests more calmly and completely than in sleep. Likewise, the astral body, separated from both physical and mental input, rests as it rarely does in the course of a normal human life. And the mental body, freed in this way from both astral and physical restraints, can be led to a very deep state of restful calm. Ordinarily, when the solitary mental body is separated, the astral body is left within the physical shell instead of being separated from it. This means that the connection between the astral and physical levels of awareness is not diminished, and therefore both bodies remain relatively integrated. Ordinary separation reveals only a single purple cord instead of the two cords that the triple separation reveals. The reason such a cord is darker in color is because it is what remains of the water and earth regions of the mental body, both of which remain rooted in the astrophysical shell. In the triple separation, however, the purple cord becomes two cords, the silver cord corresponding to the earth region and the lavender cord corresponding to the water region. The lavender cord, since it is just the water region, is immediately fluid and can easily stretch to infinity. The shade, width, and degree of translucence that the lavender cord displays will vary in direct ratio to the degree of one's focus. For example, when awareness is focused exclusively within just the fire region of the solitary mental body, the lavender cord will be as thin as a hair and as clear as water, and there will be no perception other than the direct perception of essential meaning. In such a state, there is no processing of perception into words, thoughts, emotional significance, or sensation of any kind. In such a state, you would not be able to hear my voice, nor would you feel it if I were to touch your physical body. 
On the other hand, when awareness is focused exclusively within the fire and air regions, thoughts and words do accompany perception. In such a state, the lavender cord has a width of a string and the opacity of lavender jello. With Lesson 5, however, even though you will be primarily focused within the air and fire regions of your mental body, a part of your awareness will still be receiving input from your physical ears in the form of my guiding voice, and processing your perceptions via your astral body, giving them form, a shape, and color. Since there is this much information passing along your lavender cord, it will be the width of a finger, have the opacity of milk, and shine with a distinctly bright lavender color. In order to achieve deeper states of separation of the solitary mental body, in which there is no perception below the density of thoughts, you will have to perform this lesson without depending upon the recording to guide you. Nonetheless, this recording will sufficiently introduce you to the technique, and even with its limitations, will enable you to attain a significant degree of separation, rest, and healing benefit. So let's turn now to the practice itself. Before we begin, make sure that you will not be disturbed. If you haven't done so already, then put the recording on pause and take a moment now to lock the door, turn off the phone, and turn out the lights. Situate yourself comfortably, either sitting upright with your hands resting gently on your thighs or lying down on your back. Now clear your mind of all unwanted, mundane concerns and thoughts. Now focus your awareness in the earth region of your physical body and quickly relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now move your awareness upward to your water region and relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now move your awareness upwards to your air region and relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now move your awareness upward to your fire region and relax all of the muscles in this region. Release every bit of tension. Now sense your entire head region as a whole. Add to this your chest region and sense both together. Add to this your abdominal region and sense all three together. And finally, add your leg region and sense your entire physical body as a whole. Now project your roots down into the soil below you and release every bit of negativity you might be holding. Now return your focus to sensing your entire physical body as a whole. Now push your awareness outward slightly until you feel the vibrant energy of your astral body. Focus just upon your astral body and the direct perception of emotional significance. Willfully turn your attention away from the earth region of your mental body and focus exclusively upon the water region of your mental body. Focus upon the emotional significance of the solid energy you perceive in the earth region of your astral body.
Now move your awareness upward to the water region of your astral body and sense the significance of the fluid energy you perceive there. Now move your awareness upward to the air region of your astral body and sense the significance of the light energy you perceive there. Now move your awareness upward to the fire region of your astral body and sense the significance of the radiant energy you perceive there. Hold this awareness of your astral body's fire region and add to it the awareness of the air region. Sense these two regions of your astral body as a unified whole. Hold this awareness of your astral body's conjoined fire and air regions and add to it the awareness of the water region. Sense these three regions of your astral body as a unified whole. Hold this awareness of your astral body's conjoined fire, air, and water regions and add to it the awareness of the earth region. Sense these four regions of your astral body as a unified whole. Focus all of your awareness upon the sensations of your entire astral body. Hold this awareness of the water region of your mental body and add to it the awareness of the air region of your mental body. Incorporate the direct perception of thoughts and ideas into your direct perception of emotional significance and sense these two regions of your mental body as a unified whole. Hold this awareness of your mental body's conjoined water and air regions and add to it the awareness of the fire region of your mental body. Incorporate the direct perception of essential meaning into your direct perceptions of thoughts, ideas, and emotional significance and sense these three regions of your mental body as a unified whole. Now sense the parameters of your astromental body and feel your astromental skin. Now, without moving your physical body at all, slowly stand upright with your astromental body. Stand perfectly still within your astromental body and focus your awareness upon the sensations you perceive. Sense the fluid energy of its water region, the light energy of its air region, and the radiant energy of its fire region. Sense all three regions of your astromental body as a unified whole, standing upright, independent of your physical shell. Now turn to your right until you are facing your physical shell and observe its state of rest. Now sit down at the foot of your physical shell. Observe the silver cord that connects you with your physical shell. Now close your astral eyes and turn your focus inward. Willfully turn your attention away from the water region of your mental body and focus exclusively upon the air and fire regions. Sense the light energy of the air region's thoughts and ideas and the radiant energy of the fire region's essential meaning. Sense how these two regions are a unified whole.
Sense how the form, provided by thoughts and ideas, create a sort of mental skin that contains and expresses the radiant energy of essential meaning. Feel your mental skin. Sense how free and independent it is from your astral and physical skins. Fill the air and fire regions of your mental body with the thought that you are now free from your astral shell. Now, without moving your astral shell at all, gently float upwards until you are just a few inches above your astral shell. Focus your awareness exclusively within the unified air and fire regions of your solitary mental body. Feel your mental skin and focus upon your independence from your astral shell. Now open your mental eyes and look down upon your empty astral and physical shells. Focus upon your separateness and independence from them. Observe the lavender cord that connects you to your astral shell and the silver cord that connects your astral shell to your physical shell. Observe the relaxed state of both shells. Now close your mental eyes and turn your focus inward. Focus upon the thoughts and ideas that you directly perceive in this moment. Now turn your focus away from the air region and towards the fire region. Immerse yourself in the direct perception of essential meaning.
Now gently return to the awareness of thoughts and ideas. Let your direct perceptions of essential meaning permeate the air region of your mental body and take form. Feel your mental skin and sense the unification of the air and fire regions of your solitary mental body. Now open your mental eyes and observe the well-rested state of your astral and physical shells. Willfully descend into your astral shell and gently turn your awareness back to the water region of your mental body and the direct perception of emotional significance. Spread your solitary mental body throughout your entire astromental body and sense your astromental skin. Sense your astromental body as a unified whole. Shift your attention to the earth region of your astral body and integrate the energy of your solitary mental body into it. Shift your attention to the water region of your astral body and integrate the energy of your solitary mental body into it. Shift your attention to the air region of your astral body and integrate the energy of your solitary mental body into it. Shift your attention to the fire region of your astral body and integrate the energy of your solitary mental body into it. Sense all four regions of your astral body as a unified whole. Add to this the awareness of the air region of your mental body and sense the water and air regions of your astral mental body as a unified whole. Now add to this the awareness of the fire region of your mental body and sense all three regions of your astral mental body as a unified whole. Sense your astromental skin. Now open your astromental eyes and observe the deeply rested state of your physical shell. Again, sense your astromental skin, independent of your physical skin. Now close your astromental eyes and relax into your physical shell. Let your astromental body fill your entire physical frame and gently turn your awareness back to the earth region of your mental body and the direct perception of physical sensation. Become aware of your physical skin, muscle, and bone and integrate the vibrant energy of your astromental skin into every cell of your physical body. Shift your attention to the earth region of your physical body and integrate the solid energy of the earth region of your astral body into it.
move your awareness upward to the water region of your physical body and likewise integrate the fluid energy of your astral body's water region into that of your physical body. Move your awareness upward to the air region of your physical body and integrate the light energy of your astral body's air region. Now move your awareness upward to the fire region of your physical body and integrate the radiant energy of your astral body's fire region. Hold your awareness of the conjoined astra and physical fire regions and add to it the awareness of your conjoined astral and physical air region. Sense these two elemental regions as a unified whole. Hold the awareness of these conjoined astral and physical fire and air regions and add to it the awareness of the conjoined astral and physical water region. Sense these three elemental regions as a unified whole. Now hold the awareness of these conjoined astral and physical fire, air, and water regions and add to it the awareness of the conjoined astral and physical earth region. Sense these four elemental regions as a unified whole. Sense your entire physical astramental body as a unified whole. Now send your roots deep down into the soil below and release any excess of energy that you may feel. Now turn your attention away from your roots and back to the sensing of your physical body. Now begin your return to normal awareness. Before opening your eyes or moving your body, take a moment to listen to the noises around you, to smell the air, etc. Now take a deep breath and exhale it gently. Now move your hands up along your thighs and up your abdomen and chest up to your face, top of your head, and slowly back down again, awakening your body to normal sensation. Now gently open your eyes and slowly begin to physically move about. This ends Lesson 5 of the self-healing Archaeus concerning the passive separation of the solitary mental body. I suggest that you use this recording as your guide only for as long as it takes you to learn this technique. Once you have memorized the working pattern and have succeeded in following along with this recording a couple of times, you should try the technique solo without the use of this recording. It is imperative that you learn to perform this technique without my guiding voice if you wish to continue on to the next lessons. When this technique becomes easy for you to perform, you may move on to lesson six and the healing through the elemental balancing of your three bodies. My best to you.